right now, Fal. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this does, young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. You are? Oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. We're done reaching out. We're going to rely on the folks there in Wilmington. And hopefully you can provide to this list. We're trying to bring those top golf courses to the next person looking for those top golf courses. So let's swing on in to our list of five, starting off at number five. And as we travel right through Delaware, we're going to be playing as much golf as we can. There's a lot of great history, especially at this one. The course does have a ton of history, being built in 1921, over 100 years old. Historical building by George Lester. There's also a skating park right next to it. The course has the nickname of The Rock. It is a link style course with a ton of wind. We'll go through each one of the holes here at Rock Manor. And again, the price has gone up within the last couple of years. You could tell they've been pumping money into it. These bunker design. You would, by now there would have fell apart. We'll even go through that twilight rate, which we highly recommend in the summertime to go out and play. See there's rocks right in the lakes here. It's right off of I-95, so it's not too far from your location. Each one of the holes here at Rock Manor with the park festival. The course has a ton of history being built in 1921. A great golf course to quickly move this list now into number four there's a lot of great history in this area it's a, the keely heels of golf history swinging us now into number four we have the ed oliver original layout of this course in 1901 the land was the wilmington country club by the way wilmington country club Unbelievable. Look at the sun rising through the trees here at the country club. Out of this course was designed in 1901 by Wilford Reed. Some updates in 1961. It's in 1961 were by Alfred Knoll by golf pro Ed Oliver. They put together eight PGA championships. Ed Oliver may be one of the best PGA Tour professionals that nobody remembers. Ed grew up right outside of this area, just down the street. He was a caddy, was his first job at DuPont Country Club. Which... Today, Ed, breakfast in Nicholson Downs, like uh, the front, and he called us, but I think it was a sign, because I thought I caught eyes with this lady in mind, so I realized she was. Love golf courses with a foundation of history, and this is the course with the foundation of Wilmington history here at Ed Oliver Golf Course. And the only thing that remains there to this day is the chimney of the original clubhouse. We'll even look at that old chimney, which is located on the 18th hole here at Ed Oliver Golf Course. A course named after a golf legend whose name isn't as popular as the big names in golf that you hear to this day. Nevertheless, the course does have a lot of interesting facts, like foxes cutting through it nonstop in the, mor in the morning or whatever you want to go out there and play the golf course. Swinging us now into the remaining course here on this list, we have the historical Deerfield golf course that I enjoyed very much playing. Exclusive golf course here. So, so let's get the history out of the way. Originally built by the DuPont Corporation for its employees in 1955. This clubhouse was originally called Louvier's Country Club. In 1994, MBNT purchased the club from DuPont and built a new clubhouse along with a ballroom, recreational building, and renamed it Deerfield. In 2007, the state acquired 145 acres of this property to protect the land from development. The club is now part of Delaware's White Clay Creek State Park and supervised by Delaware's Division of Park and Recreation. In February 2006, Delaware's Division of Park and Recreation and Hospitality that managed the property opened it to the public for the first time in 51 years that April 14th, 2006. Overall, this course does have a lot of amenities, but it's not as good. But the condition might be.
However, here at Del Castle, the rich history is the reason I decide to put it here at number two. Started as an old farm and turned into a prison. Let's take a look at this 18 hole golf course with more history than you would think. Del Castle golf course, which used to be an old prison at the time. Anyone that was evading tax evasion, you weren't playing golf here, you were staying here before it was a golf course. Worst part about the course, parking lot. Was for all the people that tax evasion, town drunks and shit like that. No, no criminals and they like worked it the farm. It, it, it was a farm now. and was across like the street was all farmland too. That's so when you get out towards the road, when you get to the par three, which is right up over here, okay, you're going to see the par three, and you're going to see this little white house on the left. Par three, little white house. On right over on the old by the white house, by the side of the road, you'll see the sign that tells you all this. That's cool. It, it's yeah, pretty that's crazy. I figure it's got to be some cool history. And there's a lot of interesting history at Del Castle Golf Club. You can see right off the bat, old buildings here. And the course was designed by Ed Olt in 1971. So it's got some rich history, almost 50 years old. My expectations were very low. And then getting there and learning about this facility, well, that's the reason we do golf reviews. This course is unbelievable when it comes to history and what you're getting out of it, the historical landmark, and getting it second to talk to the farmhouse owner. Historical is when you're leaving and uh, that white building. Yep. That's uh, across the maintenance shed there. And there's the porta potty on the back side of it. And this is the only part that's a historical landmark. The park is located right there. The point of the golf course that I want to focus on is the old structure. Hole number nine, you'll see the historic part of the golf course. And the course is rumored to even be haunted. Don't you get scared of like now? I said every once in a while, like I hear running footsteps up the stairs. Okay. Like children's feet running across the hallway. And even the maintenance barn is part of the old prison. I tell you what, I like those aspects of this course back in 2002 and 2003 this was rated one of the best public golf courses in delaware and of course they got the nice cushioned seats the grass is bent grass greens but let's talk about the history and that's because the township leases the land to the golf course they can change it to a hospital an education center whatever they want big bushes happening all throughout this golf course bushes that you could potentially hit your golf ball into out here what we're trying to do give you those fun facts right before you play this course be aware of them they're pretty much a hazard in themselves now everything about this screams number two on this list as we zoom on out there's only one course that really sets the tone for championship golf in this area So let's take a look at White Clay Creek. Yeah, and, and just, you know, any like holes that you recommend real quick. $120, you get a really beautiful round of golf. And the clubhouse is a total of 40,000 square feet. There's also 12 acres of practice facility. And the course was designed by famous golf designers, Arthur Hills and Stephen Farr. Arthur Hills and Stephen Farr. Farr, yeah, that's what it was, Farr. Where the creek is almost on every one of the holes here. Is it the best golf course in Wilmington? We'll take a look. Wow, so that's violently to the right. Yes, dog leg right. The tips. It is 7,000 yards from the tips. 7,000. And usually our big tournaments, in fact, about a few months ago we had the Delaware Amateur. This course is a lot of forced carries, as you'll see when we go out there. Over creeks, a lot of tight corners. Wow, it's par four. Yes, this is a par four. <laughs> okay, I was looking, I was like, that's far out there, but sometimes it's a little deceiving. I usually play from the blacks because back here it's just... Okay, it's so this fun. is as far as it gets. The blacks cool. aren't as far. Okay. Yeah. 20 bridges. And then you'll see it over the course of this tour. There's a lot of bridges. Like I said, a lot of force carries. Just this Do you know if this was originally designed as a private course? And yes, then... it was. Yeah, okay, that makes yep. sense. Almost a mile from pole two to the That's bridge. why I couldn't walk it. 
So they built this court specifically to take on water, to take on water for the other businesses around to be dry, such as the horse track. Kind of see it, almost. Yeah. You definitely see the line. So that's the practice one. Our superintendent, Josh Weaver, you can even shout him out. He is one of the best superintendents in the Tri-City area. If you look at the greens and everything, the average step rolling is about 11. Par 5, right? Par 5, yep. yeah. That's sharp. It is, if you see a section go up. This has all the gadgets you need, and it's stretched very long. You can see the practice track there and the official track. Coming on in, you can't miss it. And you'll be excited when you get there because it's a 4.5 out of 5 on Google with just over 400 Google reviews. It's got that massive practice facility, all the gear you need to get started, and that's going to move us out of this list. Hopefully, this brought you some educational golf content for you and yours. If you're not playing, go out and play some golf later this week. This is the Parfait.